So, uh, very good morning, ladies and gentlemen. So, uh, today I am very delighted to welcome you all to this second webinar of our, uh, which is um, on what is cell site identification and everything you need to know uh, about this and more. So, first of all, um, I would like to thank you all uh, because for our first webinar, we have received a lot of positive feedback uh, for, from your side for starting this weekly Friday webinar program. And in our last session, what we learned, we actually learned uh, a lot about deleted and overwritten CCTV uh, footage recovery. And we also learned about video analysis, means if the video is not of a good quality, then how to improve the quality of that video. And one more thing, we also learned about artificial intelligence, that how to apply artificial intelligence to your evidence video footage. So in this webinar, like our previous webinar, uh, you will learn a lot uh, new things, a lot uh, new information as well. So before I move forward, uh, let's quickly go through some ground rules of this webinar, uh, which you all need to follow for the smooth functioning of the session. So first, I'm requesting all of you to keep your mic muted and your cameras off. Um, and uh, we will be getting a group picture click at the end of the session. And at that time, I'll be requesting all of you to turn on your camera. Uh, again, we will be providing you with the certificate of attendance if you are interested. And for that, you need to fill a form. And the form for getting the certificate of uh, attendance um, uh, will be posted in the chat box during or at the end of this webinar. Uh, I'm requesting all of you to please fill this form carefully so that there is no you know, spelling or capitalization error happen with your, happens with your name. Uh, and for your questions related to this webinar, you are requested to put all your questions in the chat box only. So we will try to answer as many as questions as we can based on the availability of the timing. Uh, for the rest of the questions which are not answered during the webinar, due to the lack of the timing, we will be answering for those questions separately to each of you. Okay, so... Allow me one minute. Before we get into our topic, let's talk a little bit about this picture and the detail as well, which you are seeing at your screen right now. So uh, this is the report from Times of India. And according to this report, in 2016, India's estimated population of 127 crore it was actually uh, estimated population in 2016, uh, 127 crore, which approximately matched with the entire population of the 12 largest countries. So, 12 largest country ko mila ke jitna population hua tha, 2016 mein akele India ka utna population tha. Not only this, Uttar Pradesh and Bihar together matched the total population of United States. Not only this, West Bengal and Odisha mass with the population of Russia. So now that you know that how drastically our country is populated, actually very drastically. And if we talk about the current population of India, uh, which is more than 1.39 billion, um, approximately 139 crore. So this situation may, if when it is uh, you know, uh, it is uh, to track a criminal in any Indian state, this would be equivalent of a worldwide search of several European nations. So, it is not tough hai, India mein kisi, India ke kisi ek state mein ek criminal ko track karna, it is equivalent to several, you know, the worldwide search of several European nations. In fact, the state of Uttar Pradesh, if I talk about Uttar Pradesh particularly, alone it is larger than the whole continent of Europe. So here, the first thing to note is that, that we are really heavily populated. And the second thing to realize is that, uh, that there is no effective 
countrywide database of evidence available for our investigators for if you talk about you know developed country uh, countries uh, they have their data sets of dna they they have they, their data sets for ballistics fingerprints and other biometric data sets actually unke paas face ke data sets hote hain fingerprint ke data sets hote hain and uh, actually just because of this for them it is really very really easy to investigate any crime and it is really very really easy to track any people to track any person because they have a good data set sets of you know a lot of evidences so we don't have these kind of data sets and as a result criminal investigator actually our criminal investigators uh, they struggle a lot with their investigation however abhi aaj ke time mein the information available is getting collected more actively nowadays but still current situation is and you know substandard to solve any criminal case so this is a very challenging situation for us for 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 our investigators and in such a challenging scenario when other type of evidence is nearly impossible to find to narrow down or to solve any crime the only reliable source of evidence um, is available for our investigators is cdr which is call detail record or call data record okay so very clearly uh, अगर इंडियन सिनेरियो की बात करें जैसा अभी हमने बताया दैट वी डोंट हैव डेटा सेट्स अवेलेबल फॉर डीएनए फॉर बैलिस्टिक्स फॉर फिंगरप्रिंट्स फॉर फेसेस सो वी वी आर लैकिंग विद द फिजिकल एविडेंस व्हेन इट कम्स टू इन्वेस्टिगेट एनी क्राइम सो ओनली रिलायबल रिलायबल सोर्स अवेलेबल हियर इज द सीरिया सो लेट मी एक्सप्लेन टू यू दैट व्हाट इज दिस प्रोसेस ऑफ इन्वेस्टिगेशन हाउ आवर इन्वेस्टिगेटर्स आर यूजिंग सीरिया टू सॉल्व एनी क्राइम सो here investigators try to find out that how many phone calls were made from any incident location or from any crime scene shortly before the crime and just after the crime this means this time the investigators are now more focused on all the calls that were made and received from a crime scene or from the incident location so sara focus sirf isi cheez pe hai ki incident location ya crime scene se में क्राइम सी क्राइम होने के जस्ट पहले और जस्ट बाद कितनी कॉल्स की गई है या कितनी कॉल्स वहां से रिसीव हुई है सो टूडे वेबिनार इज बेसिकली गोइंग टू बी फोकस्ड ऑन थ्री थिंग्स द फर्स्ट इज गेटिंग टू नो दैट हाउ अ क्राइम इज इन्वेस्टिगेटेड बाय एग्जामिनिंग ऑल फोन कॉल्स मेड और रिसीव फ्रॉम द क्राइम सी एंड and actually nowadays this is the best way of investigate best, best way to investigate any crime because in today's time nothing is possible without making a phone call and i'm very sure that most of you uh, sitting here sabke paas phone hoga aur bahut ke paas to do phone honge so now people are in habit of using uh, one more than one phones they use मोर फोन मल्टीपल फोन फॉर यू नो डिफरेंट पर्पसेस सो ऑफिस के लिए अलग फोन घर के लिए अलग फोन ठीक है सो वी विल गेट टू नो ड्यूरिंग दिस वेबिनार दैट हाउ कैन एनी इन्वेस्टिगेशन बी कंडक्टेड बाई यूजिंग फोन कॉल डिटेल्स एंड नेक्स्ट वी विल डिस्कस वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट अ फील्ड ऑफ फोरेंसिक्स दैट हेल्प इन्वेस्टिगेटर्स इन सॉल्विंग एनी केस by using phone calls which is uh, and this field of uh, you know forensic is nothing but only cell site forensics so yes we will talk about cell site forensics and then last uh, third we will also talk about that how cell site forensic is applicable or app is 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 being applied in solving any crime and we will talk about all these in detail but before that i would like to introduce myself in this session to i am subhashini singh and i am a forensic solution consultant at forensicsguru.com and i'll be your host for this webinar session and i'll move forward but and before i move forward let me give a little introduction to our company and i am quite sure that most of you or some of you may already be aware 
about our company, Forensics Guru, and about our founder, Mr. Samir Dutt, who is the pioneer of, in, pioneer of India and South Asia's uh, digital forensic industry. So um, here are a few things about Mr. Samir Dutt. Uh, he is the founder and CEO of Forensics Guru since 1999. So he started Forensics Guru when uh, people hardly knew about forensics. Um, he has over 30 years of experience in USA, UK, and India. He is also a president of the Digital Investigators Association and alumni of NIT Raukela, IIT Kanpur, and IIFT Delhi. He is also a fellow of Indian Police Foundation. He is an excellent speaker and has spoken at various police academies such as National Police Academy, CBI Academy, and ICFS Delhi, and in many other events in India and in abroad as well. Uh, he is also a TEDx speaker and the popular author of a famous book called Learning Network Forensics. All right, so a quick company overview. Our company was set up in 1999. So we are the oldest company in this industry of computer forensics and digital investigations. We are headquartered in New Delhi and uh, we have a computer forensic laboratory, uh, which is in um, Faridabad. And this is a well-equipped forensic laboratory with all the latest tools and technologies from around the world. Okay, so we have other offices in Jaipur and Hyderabad as well. Uh, we are also an ISO 9001 and ISO 27001 company. We are the acknowledged market leader, pioneer, and the biggest company in this particular space of digital forensics. So we have been working in this area from quite a long time, and we have a number of milestones. In fact, the Prime Minister of India, Sri Narendra Modi, is fascinated with digital forensics. So he's a great supporter of digital forensics. We had a number of dignitaries uh, to see our tools and technologies. You can see in the picture as well. Uh, there you can see me as well in one of the pictures with the Defense Minister of India, Sri Rajnath Singh, uh, actually appreciating our products in one of the events. We have received a lot of accolades, testimonials, and awards, etc. We are from a more 50 company. And only company in the digital investigation and forensics from a most 50 company. I mean, uh, uh, we are well known and well reputed. We have also won KRD WG Innovation Award from IIT Delhi. And Yes, we have a lot of sterling customers all over the world who have said some good things about us. So this appreciation letter we, we uh, got from UNDP. Uh, well, uh, actually, we did some training program for them. Um, of course, the first program we did was via a tender in Bangladesh, but they were so happy with this training program and they gave us many repeat orders because of our excellent performance during the training. So here is the letter of appreciation we received from Indian Army. So the Indian Army was investigating a particular tricky issue related to the targeted Chinese malware. So what we did, actually we helped Indian Army in investigating the malware and identifying uh, that what data the malware has stolen and other related details uh, to this so that we could do some uh, you know level of damage containment for them uh, here is another letter from another customer of our us and this is uh, from Delhi Police. So we had uh, helped Delhi Police in solving one of the sensitive kidnapping cases and also helped them uh, in recovering over 1 crore 38 lakhs from criminal, which is a huge amount. Okay, so this list is of our clients. So we have a huge list of clients. So we have clients in all different categories. Um, if I talk about the national security area, 
Uh, we have clients in national security area. In fact, all the two letters, three letters, and four letters agencies are our customers. In the defense zone, the Army, Navy, Air Force, they all are our customers. Um, all the state police forces and most of the union territory police forces, they all are our customers. We also work with the, you know, uh, private sectors as well. So all the big four uh, companies uh, like KPMG, Deloitte, companies like uh, Vodafone, IBM, organizations such as MHA, CERT India, SEBI, etc. are our true customers. Okay, so we have established a number of digital forensic labs across the country. Recently, we have um, a lot of CCPWC labs were set up by us. So here are few pictures from these labs. Uh, from uh, these labs are set up in um, like Jaipur, Chandigarh, Sikkim, Yangtok, Shillong, Daman. So these are a few pictures from these, uh, you know, uh, digital forensic labs set up by us. Um, just to show you, so have a look at these pictures. These are, you know, uh, well acute uh, digital forensic labs set up by Forensics Guru. All right, so a few minutes back, I showed you one appreciation letter from Delhi Police uh, for appreciating our help in tracking uh, one high profile kidnapping case. And not only that, we helped them recovering uh, 1 crore 38 lakhs from the criminal. So that case, uh, we sought by analyzing CDR records, called detail records or called data records. So we will discuss that how to do such kind of investigation. But first, let's watch this video. So I'm going to play this video for all of you. Please watch it. Police solved this uh, robbery case 
simply by tracing that number. Uh, so in case, a phone call helped uh, a police uh, that police to catch the robbers and thieves. So the pura, pura, the pura case was based on the analysis of call data. Okay, so with this way uh, of investigation, not only one case means not only the case related to the robbery, but many cases are solved. Okay, so now what we'll do, we'll look at, uh, let's talk uh, about one more such bank robbery case, the Chalambara bank robbery in Kerala's Malapuram district. This is considered as one of the biggest and most shocking bank robberies in um, Kerala's criminal history. So what happened in this case, the, um, this was actually um, uh, in, in one of the banks, Gramin Bank, Kerala Gramin Bank. And what robbers uh, did, actually they, they blasted through a floor of the Kerala, Kerala Gramin Bank and uh, in the middle of the night um, of December 30, 2007. And they stepped with 80 kg of gold and 50 lakhs rupee. The total value of uh, to get uh, of uh, dono amount ka, that was 80 million Indian rupees. So they took this huge amount and they skipped. So here um, in this case as well, uh, police team, what police did? So police team examined all the phone calls made through the nearest mobile uh, signal tower or cell tower to the crime scene during the same night. And finally, uh, they discovered uh, or, or they got to know about a secret phone number used by the major suspects of uh, this crime uh, to communicate among themselves. So uh, there was one person who was trying to call another um, uh, associate of uh, them. And this proved uh, and this became a game changer in the investigation and the robbers were caught finally. So not only uh, the, the crime related to robbery, but also many other crimes such as um, uh, kidnapping, um, a rape, um, and murder, or uh, online crimes, uh, they all can get solved by using this way of investigation. Because uh, examining phone call detail uh, is is this is such kind of evidence which no criminal can ever remove. So uh, there are few evidences which criminal can easily remove. Agar main kisi physical evidence ki baat karu, means any criminal can easily remove fingerprint. Shoe print can also easily get removed. If I talk about other evidences, biological evidences like hair or 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 any semen, saliva, blood. These other physical evidences can easily get removed from the crime scene. But if someone has a phone call to someone and if someone has a connection to someone in a tower, so that person can never remove the presence of uh, uh, himself or herself uh, from that tower. If someone has a connection to so it is permanently marked. So this is not easily removable. Here, the same side forensics comes into picture. All right. So why why this is said? Uh, because there, there is one say that criminal usually lie, but their cell phones tell truth. This is said by Mr. Sami that only, and this is actually quite true statement. So uh, you can lie, but your cell phone always speaks truth. And now we'll get to know about that, what exactly is cell site forensic. So this is a new and rapidly expanding field of digital forensic, uh, which allows investigators to confirm a mobile phone subscriber's location at particular moment. So what happens exactly? When you make or receive a call, or you text, uh, you, you just create a text me message, or you receive a text message, so your phone connects to the nearest cell phone tower. And this determines your location, your association, and your behavior pattern as well. Okay, so let me give you a, 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 a very simple example. So suppose if I am planning for a robbery, 
and Subhashini is planning for a robbery. And every day, uh, for for planning and plotting, I am I I am planning this robbery with four friends of mine. So, मैं हर दिन उन चार friends से बात करने के लिए I go to a park near to my you know home और उस park में बैठ के मैं अपने चारों friends को call करती हूँ every day from twelve to four. दोपहर के बारह बजे से चार बजे तक सो so, हर दिन अगर उस पार्क के पास के पास में जो भी सेल टावर है अगर उसका डेटा एनालाइज किया जाएगा सो so, इन्वेस्टिगेटर्स को क्या पता चलेगा इन्वेस्टिगेटर्स विल गेट टू नो दैट सुभाषिनी का नंबर इज गेटिंग कनेक्टेड विद द सेम टावर एवरी डे सो यस अगेन मेरा प्रेजेंस uh, वहां पे मार्क हो गया सेकेंड थिंग Investigators are getting to know about my associates as well. So, investigator will get to know that Subhashini in these four people is talking about. So, these four people are the Subhashini's associates. Hai. So, investigator got to know about this as well. And investigators also got to know about my behavior. That its behavior is that every day, between four, twelve to four, in between, she comes to this place and she, you know, makes call. Uh, to her friends or her you know uh, criminal associates so this is how if i made a call this call will determine my location my association and my behavior pattern as well so it's it's a very you know easy way to uh, investigate any crime so uh, as we are continuously speaking about cell tower so cell tower looks like this so look at the picture this is how a cell tower look like so this could be a cell tower of airtel vodafone um, or or uh, jio uh, kisi ka bhi ho sakta hai so this cell tower so what happens what is the function of this cell tower so this cell tower sends signals or cellular network everywhere around it so aapke mobile mein jo cell uh, signal aa raha hai jisse jiska use karke aap kisi aur ko phone call kar pate ho this is just because of the cell tower because this cell tower is sending signal to your mobile so har ek cell tower ka each cell tower has a specific range where it provides a cellular network ya fir signal so the moment koi bhi mobile phone enters into this fixed range uh, it is connected to the cell tower to to that cell tower uh, agar aap phone kar rahe ho tab bhi aap isi cell tower se connect ho rahe ho if you are receiving a call even when you are getting connected with the cell tower if you are texting somebody again you are getting connected with the cell tower or receiving the message इस केस में भी यू आर गेटिंग कनेक्टेड विद द सेल टावर सो वेन अ मोबाइल फोन कनेक्ट टू अ सेल टावर द प्रेजेंस ऑफ दैट फोन इन दैट टावर रेंज इज मार्क्ड और इज रजिस्टर्ड ऑल राइट लुक इन द पिक्चर एंड यू विल गेट द फेयर इनफ आइडिया दैट हाउ अ पर्सन इज गेटिंग कनेक्टेड विद अ टावर वाई मेकिंग और रिसीविंग एनी कॉल ओके सो दिस इज हाउ द टावर सेंड सिग्नल्स टू योर मोबाइल when you when you make or receive any call very simple all right so the biggest question abhi tak humne jo bhi cheez jaani so the biggest question here is that how the investigator would know that from which tower the suspected call information may be uh, should be collected or uh, from which tower the criminal or suspect must have been linked uh, when uh, making any call um, to uh, their associates so investigator ko kaise hi pata chalega ki kis particular tower ka data analyze kiya jaye in order to track the criminal ya investigator ye kaise jaan payega ki kaun se cell tower se hamara criminal ya suspect पर्सन कनेक्ट हुआ है जब उसने अपने किसी भी एसोसिएट को कॉल किया है सो टू गेट टू नो अबाउट दिस द फर्स्ट स्टेप वुड बी टू फाइंड आउट दैट विच सेल आईडी और सेल टावर द सेलुलर नेटवर्क इज कमिंग टू दी क्राइम सीन सो ये जानना पहला काम है कि कौन से टावर से क्राइम सीन पे या इंसिडेंट लोकेशन पे सेलुलर नेटवर्क इज कमिंग ओके एंड हाउ विल यू डू दैट हियर csa comes into the picture so this is the tool the hardware tool so this is the tool which helps investigators uh, uh, in collection of all the active cell tower id so ye tool batayega ki incident location pe ya crime scene pe kis kis tower se cellular network actively aa raha hai so agar koi criminal is 
क्राइम सीन या इस इंसिडेंट लोकेशन से अपने किसी भी एसोसिएट को कॉल करा है तो इसी एक्टिव टावर से वो कनेक्ट हुआ होगा वेदर इट इज ऑफ एयरटेल वेदर इट इज ऑफ जियो वेदर इट इज ऑफ एनी अदर सर्विस प्रोवाइडर ओके सो दिस इज दिस सी एस ए एंड सीएसए इज 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 रियली वेरी हेल्पफुल इन इन गेटिंग दिस एक्टिव सेल आई डी कलेक्शन uh in two ways so csa can uh, will uh, be collecting the cell ids in two ways that is spot cell id collection and the root id cell connection uh cell ids collection so what happens here what is spot cell id collection so uh, let me explain you by just by giving an example so suppose if subhashini has uh, visited to a crime scene or or any place to any bank uh, for robbery so सुभाषिनी ने रॉबरी बैंक के साइट खड़े होकर अपने एक एसोसिएट को कॉल किया और जब सुभाषिनी ने रॉबरी कर ली देन शी टुक अ वे टू स्केप आउट और उसने एक रास्ता पहले से फिक्स कर रखा था जिससे वो बैंक का सारा पैसा लेके उस रास्ते से इजिली भागने वाली थी जस्ट बिकॉज दैट दैट वे इज रियली वेरी यू नो इट्स वेरी एम टी नॉट क्राउडेड सो आसानी से वो उस रास्ते से भाग सकती है Okay, so what Subhash Ne did? Subhash Ne made one call at the spot. At the spot means uh, a bank ke pas. And then while she was skipping out, जब वो रास्ते पे भाग रही थी, तो then उस रास्ते पे भी उसने अपने associate को call करके ये बोला कि यार please मेरे लिए गाड़ी arrange कर दे because I I need to skip out as soon as possible. Or or I need to leave this place. सो so, सुभाषिनी का कॉल उस जगह पे भी माफ हो गया बैंक के पास भी और जब वो वहां से भागी रास्ते में जिस जिस टावर के कॉन्टैक्ट में वो आई है जिस जिस टावर का सिग्नल उसने यूज किया शी गॉट कनेक्टेड विथ ऑल दो टावर सो सी एस ए रॉबरी साइट का भी आईडी कलेक्शन करेगा और जिस वे से सुभाषिनी भागी है उस रास्ते में आने वाले हर सेल टावर आई को वो कलेक्ट करेगा सो so, इस सुभाषिनी का नंबर बैंक के पास वाले टावर में भी प्रेजेंट है और स्केप आउट होने वाले रास्ते के हर सेल टावर में प्रेजेंट है या टावर में प्रेजेंट है देन इट इज कंफर्म दैट सुभाषनी इज द वन हु डिड दिस हु कमिटेड दिस क्राइम एंड शी शी वाज द रॉबर एंड दिस इज हाउ वी परफॉर्म द इन्वेस्टिगेशन All right, so here I have few pictures to show you. These pictures are of uh, CSA. So uh, in this picture, what you can see here, we have CSA dongle. I'll be showing you the CSA tool as well here, and I'll show you that how do we collect the cell IDs. So I'll perform this this uh, live here for you. You'll get to see that how do we collect the cell IDs and how the cell IDs are getting collected. So um, this is the CSA tab. and this is a a a, a bag or a bee case in which we keep the csa so it can easily be carried to the incident location or the crime scene so this is the picture and this are uh, these are few other pictures um uh, pictures uh, why we create any case so every time when we are going to collect the cell id we create a new case all right and this is the result of the csa so what you can see here in the uh, in the result or or the report of csa so csa is showing you the collection name or the date of the collection means the date the date when you get the cell ids collected the time when you uh, you collected the cell ids and the next column what you are getting to know about this is cgi cellular global identity so here what you see you get to know about mcc this is mobile country code so and the next is mnc this is mobile network code next is lac which is location area code and the next is the cell id theek hai so mcc is could be 404 or 405 for india which you can see here so in column what you can see 404 404 405 404, 404 so this is the mobile country code for india mnc is mobile network code which is for the particular service provider so for vodafone it's 11 for airtel it's 10 for jio it's 872 and this is how it works 
the LAC is location area code. Again, this is this is uh, different for different location. And this exactly last one is the cell ID. So tower key ID. Okay. And in the next column, what information are you getting? You are again getting the information for the service provider and the reason and the country um, uh, separately. It is again it is mentioned that this is this is uh, the cell ID collected um, in India. And the next, uh, you are getting to know about uh, a network type. So whether you uh, got collected the, the 4G network or, or this uh, 3G or 2G. So her kind of network ka ye collection karta, 2G, 3G, 4G, all right? And additionally, we have one more feature with this tool is, is um, uh, we can use the GPS. We, we do use the GPS device to get the latitude and longitude uh, information collected as well all right so what i'm going to do here so this is the report of the csa and what i'm going to do here is i'm going to show you the csa uh, device so you'll get the uh, fair enough idea that how do we exactly perform collection all right so for this i'm going to stop share my screen and I'm going to switch my camera. And what you can see right now at your screen is CSA device, all right? So I'm just going to operate this device for you so that you can get a fair enough idea that how do we perform this. So what you can see here, we have given three options here, new case, uh, uh, new previous case and exit. So I'm going to click on the new case. I'll be making a new sample case. So we have the uh, you know columns to fill the case reference and case description if it is of your niche. So in case reference, you can fill the FIR number or, or any, any um, related detail to your case and case uh, you can also give the description of the case. One one second, Subhashini. I think somebody is not able to see your screen. Uh, right. Mr. Uh, Midip Pranay, are you able to see the screen? Is everybody else able to see the screen? If you can see the screen, please say see. Visible. Okay. Visible. Screen is visible to everybody. I think the problem may be at your side, uh, Mr. Midip Pranay. Uh, please continue, Subhashini. All right. Okay. So, um, yes. So what happened here is we have given few options um, available. Uh, this is uh, for 4G uh, de detection. If you can see, if you can read clearly, otherwise I'll be reading out uh, this for you. So what I'm going to do uh, here, I have the option for start reading. So this option I will be clicking for getting the cell ID collect collected. And I'll be filling the name of the collection as well. So let me put this in. can be the name can be filled in on the basis of the location where you are doing the collection, you know. So suppose you are collecting this at, uh, say, you know, uh, RG circle. So you will give it a name, collection name RG circle, you know. If it is a route, then you can say, you know, from RG circle to, say, uh, CR place. So what it will do is that this is the route which is connecting from RG circle to CR place. So that collection name will give you an indication of all the cell towers that cover that particular route. Or similarly, when you're doing a spot and then you say RG circle, then it will do that or the location or the crime scene or whatever. So giving the name is useful from that perspective. You can have more than one collection in a single case because in a case, there may be multiple uh, locations like, you know, place where the robbery took place, place where the vehicle was found, place where the safe was found, place where, uh, uh, you know, something was abandoned and so on and so forth. So every location touch point uh, where you will probably ask for a tower dump can be given a separate name and they can all form a separate collection in the same case. All right. Thank you, sir. Yes, yes. Um, very well mentioned that we can have multiple collection uh, in one single case. So uh, that is why the putting or, or filling the collection name is, is really very important here. 
So what I'm going to do, I have already filled the collection name and I'm going to click, I'm going to, uh, you know, collect the uh, cell, spot cell ID. So I'll be clicking on the spot collection. So this collection um, sometime takes time. And so it is a time, uh, it takes time. So what I'm going to do here, again, in this situation, is it will also be taking time because I'm sitting in a closed packed room. So what I'm going to do here is I will be showing you the uh, exact uh, already collected information which I collected just before the session. So let me show you already collected information or the cell ID. So I am opening a case which I have already made. So you can you can create multiple case in one uh, in in this device. And let me click on the preview reading option. And this is here the result. If you can see, is it is it visible at your screen? Um, the can can. I think you... there is a focus issue. It needs to be better focus. Okay. Okay. Let me adjust. Add a focus button. Let me bring the camera a little, little closer to this result or report. This device is not connected to the internet at all. This device is also, there is no saved database. This operates without a SIM. Well, the way it works is that it will, uh, it will it is basically a radio signal receiving device and uh, it will pull all the radio towers nearby and it will it is like a uh, it's got a capability to connect to the towers of all the service providers simultaneously so what it is doing is it is going to the different service providers and checking the availability of those towers it will even identify unknown cell towers so in situations where there are interception devices in play, it will help you identify those as well. So there is no saved database or anything like that. And yes, you can see, if you can see here, we have the collection name, collection date, as I already shared that this date code, you will be collecting uh, the data, you'll get the detail for that as well and the collection time. Additionally, you are getting the data for, uh, you know, detail for uh, cellular global identity, which is including the uh, mobile country code, mobile network code, location area code, and cell ID. Um, it is, you are getting this, this value in two ways. Uh, one is the numerical way and one is the alphanumerical way. So uh, there are, uh, you know, some service providers which provide these detail in uh, alphanumeric way. So, service provider detail provider you will be getting to uh, know about it and then we are uh, getting uh, the detail for service provider reason country and yes one one important thing here mentioned is that we are getting to know about the signal strength the rx level uh, this this is all about the signal strength so you will get to know that uh, um, how the good signal was like the cellular network Kiska strength kitna acha tha. so you'll get the uh, idea about this as well and then the network type uh, you're getting the information about the network type as well and additionally if you can see we are getting the detail of latitude and longitude because gps was used uh, when we collected this um, this uh, data cell id so this is giving you the the information about collected uh, about the location from which the this collection has been done so this is also useful because you can answer at any stage of your uh, you know investigation you can uh, answer that this was the place this was the spot where you uh, performed data collection. So, yes, this was the crime scene or this was the robbery place where we have this cell ID collection. Kiya hai. Again, um, uh, one more thing, uh, whenever you go to the service provider, most of the, like, or the police go to the service provider to get the, uh, you know, uh, provide you with the tower data. So, service provider asks you, 
कि आपको किस सेल आईडी का डेटा देना है या किस सेल टावर का डेटा आपको चाहिए इन दिस सिचुएशन आप बहुत पर्टिकुलरली बता सकते हो कि दिस इज दी यू नो दिस आर दीज आर दी कलेक्टेड सेल आई अलोंग विद दैटीट्यूड एंड लॉन्गिट्यूड तो आप बहुत पर्टिकुलरली उसे बता सकते हो कि हाँ इस लैटीट्यूड लॉन्गिट्यूड पे खड़े होके आपने सेल आई डी कैप्चर की है और इस सेल आई डी का यू नीड दी लुकिंग फॉर द डेटा सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट सी एस ए एंड दिस इज ऑल अबाउट दी सेल साइट इन्वेस्टिगेशन सो आई जस्ट शेयर ऑल दी वे दैट हाउ डू वी परफॉर्म इन्वेस्टिगेशन बाई यूजिंग दॉल डिटेल रिकॉर्ड so that's it from my side in today's session uh, we are now ready to answer your questions we have few minutes left in this webinar so you please uh, you can ask your questions please so uh, you know before we start the questions i just wanted to add a few things what happens is that this has additional capability of identifying unknown cell towers so uh, since this is calibrated to the cell phone range uh the range of a cell tower is a function of the power being provided to trans to the transmission radio of the cell tower so different cell towers will have different ranges so the range is a function of the cell tower this is a receiver where ever the receiver is it will tell you what are the cell towers that are able to reach here so you might have a cell tower which is 20 kilometers away also reaching that same location and you may have a cell tower which is only you know 500 meters away which is also reaching this location so in such a situation what happens is that you are able to identify ki jo mauka tha or at the crime scene jo tha wahan par kon log present the jab crime hua so we are looking at ki bhai crime committed at this location who are the people who are present and who could have connected to which towers and it will give you a list of all the towers i was talking about unknown towers this is an important aspect kai tower aise hote hain which are not you know aapko na voda hai na airtel hai na reliance hai na bsnl hai there something else so what happens this can be two things one it can be an unknown service provider that is acting in the area or two it can be somebody who is basically doing a interception when i talk about interception what happens with in terms of interception there are imz catchers so if there is a interception device in that area or somebody sitting in a hotel room bhai koi kisi kamre mein usne lagaya hua hai or interception device lagaya hua hai to ye aapko detect karke de dega that there is an interception device active in the area second it could be a different network we were doing one particular investigation we were driving uh, around and we began to catch some towers which were not known to us so when we did a in depth analysis and we went to the location what is what happened was that we found that these were towers which belong to railtel so railway also has their own network and these towers became visible so this gives you that additional intelligence if required about these towers to ye thoda sa aapko overview diya hai please feel free aapke paas jo bhi sawal hai jo aapne puchna hai you can raise your hand and we will you know uh, unmute you and uh, get you in you can ask those questions all right so before that um, i would be mentioning few things uh, here that uh, as i have already shared that not only in the robbery case we can we use csa device in in many cases like a murder uh, when it comes to solve any murder crime kidnapping ka case or break ins ka case or rights ka case or almost har tarah ke case mein csa in uh, ko use karke hum investigation perform karte hain so it is used in almost all kind of cases so uh, thank you and we are open for your questions and uh, we are going to send the link for this uh, for for getting the certificate of attendance in the chat box so you can fill this form so ashni please share the link hmm. okay yes uh, we have uh, yes there will be a separate workshop later uh, for actual in depth uh, cdr analysis wo baad mein hoga for now this is uh, more like uh, focused only on the cell site analysis part plus aapke uh, somebody has asked a question that how is this different from hack rf like devices 
A hack RF device is both a transmitter and a receiver, and it is meant for different purposes. This purpose is uh, for the specific purpose of identifying and IDing. कि भाई कौन सा cell ID इस area को cover करता है. तो ये जो मौका है, the area of the crime, crime scene है. यहाँ पर जो cell ID इसको cover कर रहा है, उसका cell ID की information आपको दे देगा, उसकी signal strength दे देगा. और ये आप समझ सकते हैं कि अगर क्रिमिनल उस एरिया में था या सस्पेक्ट उस एरिया में था और उसका व्हाट्सएप चालू था या उसका कुछ भी चल रहा था चाहे जीपीएस लेके वहां पहुंचा तो क्या था कि वो इंटरनेट को सिग्नल जा रहे थे और आ रहे थे तो वो आपको आइडेंटिफाई करके देगा कि व्हाट आर द टावर्स दैट आर कवरिंग दैट एंड विच इज द पॉसिबल टावर दैट पर्सन कुड है तो ये सब जो है ये आप उससे कर सकते हैं Okay, I have one question from uh, Ram Gopal, sir. One second. Can I request you to unmute? Hello, Mr. Samir. Hello, sir. My, I have a few questions. Uh, one is, uh, uh, is this device uh, usable throughout India? Yes. Or, uh, all, all the towers are covered. Of India. Uh, uh, secondly, uh, is there... A Sorry, lost your words. Internet service providers are the location of a crime site because using this tool, we can find out the tower IDs of. The, I, I can't hear you. Your voice is uh, fading out. Is it audible now? Yes. Uh, using this tool, we can find out uh, the tower. Service providers, TSPs. Yeah. Uh, is there any way to find out the like, because the um, criminal might have uh, connected to some Wi-Fi or uh, uh, internet, uh, which is not normally provided by, uh, which is not normally provided the telecom services. So, is uh, there any way to find out that? That's a very good point. Actually, this particular device is not meant for uh, wireless access point detection, but there are other things that are available which can help you identify what are the wireless access points in the area and ID them. So that is possible. Well, if uh, uh, that can, those tools or applications, if these are available. Yeah, and, we'll discuss it with you offline, no problem. Yeah, sure, sure. And one more thing, uh, is there any software form of this CSA available? Like it is a hardware device at present. Yes. So that we, it can be installed on mobile uh, devices and it can be used. Mobile devices are actually locked devices. They are locked to a particular network service provider. So yes. with, with the mobile devices, what happens is that it will only access the service provider that it is connected to. This does not require internet. This does not require even a SIM, but it will be vendor neutral. So it will provide all the service providers which are active in that region. It will give you that information and it will uh, give it okay. to you. And you can later export it as an Excel sheet or you can send an email to all the service providers. These are the cell towers for your particular thing. Vodafone, please send us a list of all the dumps between this time to this time on this of these cell towers, cell IDs. Similarly, you can say, you know, Airtel, please provide and uh, Geo, please provide and so on and so forth. Okay. Uh, uh, one uh, more thing, like uh, what is the uh, means technology behind this? For example, because uh, uh, in order to have access to the data of the mobile tower, uh, of course, uh, uh, cell ID, uh, more open source tools are available. But how do you, uh, like, is there any... Uh, agreement with the service providers or it is just open source you are using the technology only you are using actually these there is no agreement with any service provider what they are doing is that they are broadcasting signals to the air a tower is you know uh, sending out open signals to everybody saying that i am present i am present this is me this is me if you are in my area please connect to me because service providers make money when a mobile phone will connect to them mm -hmm. right so in that case, what happens is that uh, since they are broadcasting their presence and they're saying that I'm there, now you can only identify their presence if you are in their range. Correct. 
Now, uh, okay. what happens is that this device detects which towers are broadcasting their presence and gets their ID, just like a mobile phone. Okay. last one last question uh, what happens is uh, uh, nowadays uh, the criminals they generally use uh, uh, voice over ip um, to connect to other people mm -hmm. so uh, we may not get any cdr of the duration of the uh, this thing uh, but uh, even if they are using uh, the uh, like uh, voip but they must be connecting to the tower through for uh, internet service so uh, by ta through tower dump we can only get the data of the calls made or sms done but ip uh, generally we get uh, ip drs if we know the mobile number or something can we get the ip drs from a tower dump like for a for a tower from the service providers because i have not we are uh, we are getting in fact a not lot of law enforcement agencies are getting i don't know if you are not being given why but, no, uh, I have not. I have not tried it. I'm okay. Asking. But uh, definitely, uh, people are getting. They're asking. Most people don't ask because the volume is too big. So that is scary. And also, the service providers are not comfortable because for them there is a lot of work. But mm -hmm. there is a fantastic amount of valuable information out there. In fact, I think we have a session. I think the, the next next forensic Friday or the forensic Friday after that is A to Z of IPDR analysis, in which we will show this. So my colleague Shekhar is going to, you know, actually show in-depth IPDR analysis. He will also, you know, unveil a framework which we call Alibi, which is basically, you know, we talk about the actions of a person, the locations of a person, the intent of a person, the behavior of a person, and the identity of a person, and how we can, you know, analyze those things just based on IPDRs. And uh, also, you know, you will be able to classify, okay, this person, you know, used. Uh, bought in or used uh, whatsapp to make calls you will be able to identify that you know this person is using uber to go from point a to point b and things like that so that kind of stuff all that can be got from ipdrs and of course ipdrs are generated when the phone connects to a cell tower uh, in the vicinity or a wi-fi system no but no uh, tower dump like uh, do the service providers provide the IP addresses of all uh, in that uh, uh, by that tower? Yes. For particular day. Aapko hai nahi? We'll show you a small demo. Carry on to uh, Dr. Narayan Bosley. So, Namaskar. Uh, namaskar. So, thank you very much for the uh, second uh, Forensic Friday. Sir, I have some small questions. So as an input, uh, we are providing uh, victims of suspected mobile SIM or entire mobile data to acquiring the all uh, dumped data uh, for the investigation. Sorry, could you repeat the question again? I mean, uh, uh, crime scene ke upar jo bhi hamara suspect hai, unka mobile hum connect kar rahe ya SIM connect kar rahe hai, uska dump data khinchne ke liye? Uh, Dr. Saab, kya hota hai? Dump data na service provider data hai. Okay, okay. और होता क्या है कि जैसे क्राइम सीन पे हम गए क्राइम के मौके पे गए वहां पर जैसे हुआ क्राइम तो हम आइडेंटिफाई कर रहे हैं कि कौन सा सेल टावर उसको कवर कर रहा है और हम टाइम देते हैं और सेल टावर सेल टावर का आईडी देते हैं सर्विस प्रोवाइडर को एंड वो सर्विस प्रोवाइडर मतलब ऑथराइज लोगों को ही देता है सबको नहीं मिलता है ओनली ऑथराइज पुलिस पर्सनल दे आर गिवन दिस डेटा एंड ऑन दैट बेसिस दी एनालिसिस इज so I, I worked under uh, Krishnamurti madam at Bombay forensic lab. So I know the all protocols. So publicly, I too also not uh, going to that depth. So thank you very much, Professor. Yeah. Okay, so um, Mr. Bhagirath uh, Singha. Namaskar, sir. Namaskar. सर सर मेरा ये क्वेश्चन था कि हम जैसे मोबाइल यूजर हैं तो सर हम कई बार क्या करते हैं सर किसी इंसिडेंट से वहां से गुजरते हैं या वहां रुकते हैं लेकिन हम उसका मोबाइल का यूज नहीं करते हैं बट हमारा नेट जो है चालू रहता है कई एप्स है जो नेट कंज्यूम करते हैं और वहां से हम निकल जाते हैं हम टावर डम्प लेते हैं तो टावर डम्प में जो नेट कंज्यूम हुआ है 
वो नंबर आ सकते हैं कई बार जो क्रिमिनल होते हैं कहीं से उस वहां जगह स्पेंड किया उन्होंने टाइम या कहीं उसका रूट लेना हो कि वो वहां से ड्रग स्मिलिंग कर रहे हैं वहां से आ रहे हैं बट वो कॉल नहीं करते हैं या वो वीआईपी कॉल करते हैं लेकिन कॉल नहीं किया है लेकिन वहां से निकले हैं तो पर्टिकुलर प्लेस का या उस रूट का हम टावर डंप कर लेते हैं तो उसमें उसका डाटा यूज हुआ है कई एप्स जैसे डाटा यू कंज्यूम करते हैं तो उनके नंबर अगर हम लेते हैं डाटा तो क्या वो मिल सकता है डंप के साथ मिल जाता है नॉर्मली क्या होता है कि अगर आपने जैसे कहीं पे आ, मौके से भाग रहे हैं क्रिमिनल ठीक है वो उसका रूट है वो वहां से जा रहा है उसने अपना फोन यूज नहीं किया है लेकिन क्या है कि इंटरनेट चालू है व्हाट्सएप से मैसेज किसी ने भेजा तो आ गया कुछ उन्होंने अपना जीपीएस यूज किया या कुछ भी चालू किया व्हाट्सएप कॉलिंग भी करी तो क्या हुआ कि वो किसी टावर से कनेक्ट हुआ है तो जब हम रिक्वेस्ट करते हैं ना तो आप टावर डंप रिक्वेस्ट नहीं करके आप वो रिक्वेस्ट करें उनसे कि भाई हमारे को आप आईपी डंप दे ऑफ द फॉलोइंग टावर्स जो टावर की लिस्ट अभी आपको सीएसए से निकाल के दिखाई उनका भेजो और उनको बोलो कि हमारे को जो भी आपका इंटरनेट एक्टिविटी हुआ है इसमें वो हमारे को दो जी जी तो यानी कि मिलने की संभावना है उसे इंटरनेट में उन मिलता है कई कई फोर्सेस मांग रहे हैं और ले रहे हैं जी 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 थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच वेलकम वेलकम सुवाजनी वो सर्टिफिकेट का वो भेज दो जरा प्लीज उसमें ग्रुप में पेस्ट पेस्ट कर दें ठीक है एनी अदर क्वेश्चन एनी बड़ी ओके शिवेंद्र जी अपना वीडियो ऑन कर लें एंड सर नमस्कार जी बताएं सर मेरा एक सिंपल क्वेश्चन है सर आपके टूल से जैसे सीएसएस से जो भी डाटा हम एनालाइज करेंगे ना इट्स ऑल अबाउट डिजिटल फुटप्रिंट्स तो हमें कोर्ट में सबमिट करने होता है डिजिटल फुटप्रिंट्स टू रिलेट विद्टिम और अक्यूज तो उसके लिए हमें पेंसठ पी के प्रमाण पत्र सर्टिफाइड प्रमाण पत्र लगाने होते हैं कुछ चीजों के लिए तो आपका टूल किट से हम जो डाटा एनालाइज करेंगे या उसको एज ए प्रूफ सबमिट करेंगे तो हाउ विल हु विल गिव दिस दिफिक सर्टिफिकेट जो भी है सर्टिफिकेशन क्योंकि जनरली हम सी डी जो भी मंगवाते हैं हम आप डायरेक्ट टेलीकॉम प्रोवाइडर से मंगवाते हैं तो दे आर बींग लाइबल टू गिव दर टेस्ट मनी इन कोर्ट बट इन दिस केस हाउ विल सर्टिफाइड दिस एविडेंस इज कनेक्टेड टू दिस डिवाइस देखिए आपको एक बेसिक वो मैं फंडामेंटल बताऊ दो तरह की टेक्नोलॉजीज होती हैं एक होती है असिस्टिव टेक्नोलॉजी जो किसी में आप यूज करते हैं ताकि आपको कोई सुराग मिले और आप आगे इन्वेस्टिगेशन ले जाए जो जो आप करते हैं हर चीज आप कोर्ट में नहीं लेके जाते हैं आपको पता ही और जो आपने इन्वेस्टिगेशन करी पूछताछ करी तहकीकत करी कुछ आपके पास इंफॉर्मेशन आई आप हर एक फाइंडिंग नहीं प्रेजेंट करते हो कोर्ट में ठीक है ना अगर आपको ये प्रेजेंट करनी है फाइंडिंग कि भाई कौन से सेल टावर उसको कवर कर रहे हैं तो आप सिंपल चीज है सर्विस प्रोवाइडर से पूछो कौन से सेल टावर इस एरिया को कवर कर रहे हैं ठीक है ना फैक्चुअल बात यह है कि सेल टावर जो है वो आपको अपने वो अंदाजे से लगाता है कि टावर का इतना रेंज है वो आपका आपको ग्राउंड रियालिटी जो है वो आपको इससे पता चलती है जो टावर वाला है वो आपको वो दे देगा और वो आपको 65 फाइव बी बी ये डिवाइस आप खुद ऑपरेट कर रहे हैं जिसे आप नॉर्मली फोन फोरेंसिक टूल भी यूज करते हैं तो उसमें क्या होता है कौन आपको देता है 65 फाइव बी आपका जैसे कोई इंस्पेक्टर आपका बैठा हुआ है वहां पर किसी लैब में और आपके वो निकाल रहे हैं वो जो भी है तो वो क्या कर रहे हैं वो आपका वो फोन से डाटा निकाला और वो कोर्ट में नहीं लेके जा रहे हैं वो अपने इन्वेस्टिगेशन के मतलब ये पर्पस से उसको निकाल रहे कल को आप उसको जाके लेके आप वहां पे एफ एस एल में जाओगे और बोलोगे कि भाई साहब हमारे पास लेके आओ ठीक है ना और ये आपको दो तरीके से काम करना होता है थैंक यू सर जी वेलकम सूरज जी ये 
please unmute hello sir hello yeah hello hello hi i can hear you ha sir mai pura chetri cyber crime thana posting siliguri west bengal se bol raha hu sir हाँ नमस्कार बताइए नमस्कार सर सर मेरा एक क्वेश्चन है सर, मिस कॉल सीडियर होता है कि नहीं देखिए सर्विस प्रोवाइडर के पास मिस कॉल का इंफॉर्मेशन होता है सर्विस प्रोवाइडर के सर्वर्स पे मिस कॉल का इंफॉर्मेशन आता है लेकिन वो आपको देता है कि नहीं वो डिफरेंट बात है तो इसके लिए क्या करना पड़ेगा कि कोर्ट का ऑर्डर लेना पड़ेगा ना क्या वो लोग का हम लोग एक आ, एक बार कोशिश किया था लेकिन वो लोग बोला कि हम लोग का पास नहीं है लेकिन हमने सुना है कि होता है मैंने देखा है मैंने दूसरे देश में देखा है हम मतलब क्योंकि हम हमारे कई प्रोडक्ट्स हैं जो अलग अलग कंट्रीज में यूज होते हैं मैंने ऑस्ट्रेलिया के सी में देखा है वोडाफोन के ही उसमें वहां पर भी वोडाफोन चलता है तो क्या है कि उसमें मैंने देखा है कि वहां पर उसमें मिस्ड कॉल का भी डिटेल आता है कोई ऑप्शन है हम लोग का लेने के लिए और कोई अब आ, आ, आप लोग भाई पुलिस के लोगों आपको डिफरेंट <laughs> मेथड्स है आपके पास आप उनसे बात करिए जो आपके सर्विस प्रोवाइडर है उनको बुलाइए उनके साथ चाय पीजिए डिस्कशन कीजिए और आ, कुछ ना कुछ तो सॉल्यूशन निकलेगा सर ओके सर थैंक यू सर ओके शिवेंद्र जी एक सेकेंड जी सर एक छोटा सा डाउट और मन में आया था सर है ऑडिबल सर यस यस सर मैं जानना चाहता हूँ कि अगर आपके डिवाइस से अगर जैसे आपने बोला असिस्टिव डिवाइस है है ना और ये ओपन सोर्स डिवाइस हो सकता है सभी के लिए आप जो भी यूज करना चाहे मोस्टली आर इन सर्विसेज मतलब पुलिस सर्विसेज तो सर जैसे कि कोई भी कोई इसके लिए हमें ये तो चार्ज नहीं करेगा सर कि ये साइबर एस्पियोनाइज इनका जैसे कि दिस टूल इज यूजिंग मतलब जो भी टेलीकॉम सर्विस प्रोवाइडर का डाटा ले रहा है या ऐसा कुछ डाटा तो ले नहीं रहा ये जो है देखिए क्या होता है कि अगर आपका कोई रेडियो स्टेशन है ऑल इंडिया रेडियो आकाशवाणी वगैरह जो है वो ब्रॉडकास्ट कर रहा है तो वो क्यों ब्रॉडकास्ट कर रहा है वो पब्लिक वेलफेयर सर पब्लिक वेलफेयर के लिए अब हाँ, ये जो तो, ये, ये लोग क्यों ब्रॉडकास्ट कर रहे हैं सर्विस प्रोवाइडर वाले लेकिन ये ये इंटरप्टेड डाटा होता है सर जिस नीड स्पेशलाइज इंटरसेप्ट हम लोग इंटरसेप्शन नहीं कर रहा है बिल्कुल भी डेटा ये ये जो इंफॉर्मेशन है ये ओपन सोर्स इंफॉर्मेशन है आप अपने मोबाइल फोन से भी ये पता लगा सकते हैं कि वो आपका मोबाइल फोन कौन से टावर से कनेक्टेड है सर सर ये इंफॉर्मेशन ये पब्लिकली अवेलेबल इसलिए करते हैं ताकि आपका मोबाइल फोन या कोई भी डिवाइस उनके टावर से कनेक्ट कर पाए और कनेक्ट करेगा तो फोन कॉल करेगा या इंटरनेट यूज करेगा यूज करेगा तो उनको पैसा मिलेगा ओके ऑब्जेक्टिव है कि वो रेवेन्यू कर रहे हैं इसलिए वो पब्लिकली ये ब्रॉडकास्ट कर रहे हैं कि हम यहां पर हैं हाजिरी लगा है वी आर लोकेटेड हियर प्लीज कनेक्ट टू अस वो जो इंफॉर्मेशन वो दे रहे हैं पब्लिकली नोन है और हम सिर्फ वो इंफॉर्मेशन लेके एनालिसिस हम अपना कर रहे हैं और ये बता रहे हैं कि ये है स्थिति रोजस राइट सर थैंक यू सर थैंक यू Okay, so anybody else? Any other questions? चलिए in that case, uh, thank you very much. आपको सबको uh, session uh, video और uh, uh, आपको link भेजा जाएगा आपको अभी link भेजा हुआ है form का uh, anybody who has missed applying for their certificates should again fill up the form and प्लीज दिस थिंग अपना नाम अच्छे से क्लियरली लिखे इफ योर नेम इज रिटर्न करेक्टली द सर्टिफिकेट विल कम करेक्टली द वे यू राइट योर नेम दैट इज द वे यू विल गेट योर सर्टिफिकेट सो प्लीज बी केयरफुल प्लीज यूज दिस लिंक फॉर द सर्टिफिकेट 
fill the form and get back to us. Thank you very much.